Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. I had to think what are we going to do for our Beyond Visual Range missile fight today and last week we did this reenactment mission. 2019 Operation Swift Retort, Pakistan Air Force bombs targets in Kashmir. Within that we had our own natural BVR matches which happened. They were between Indian Su-30 MKIs and the Pakistani F-16s. So today Indian Su-30 MKIs against Pakistani F-16s. Now Pakistan F-16s as you guys have told me top out at block 50, block 52. That's not going to quite match up against an Su-30 MKI. So we're buffing Pakistan today. In fact we're going to give Pakistan two options. If you want to do Milsim you're welcome to fly the block 50 which is pretty much what they have with the A120C5 or you can have a slightly buffed version, our hybrid version, which is the equivalent of about a Block 70 with an AE's radar in it and AIM 120 C7 missiles. That's going to buff it up to the standard of the Su 30 MKI. So let's look at the details of the aircraft. The skill of these fights is setting the aircraft up as well as we can. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of violence for no actual reason. So the Indian Air Force Su 30 MKI, the base mod is from codename Flanker Guys. We've upgraded it to Grim Reapers version 1 with a radar cross section of 5.5 meters squared, meaning it can be seen at over 100 miles by an air Born AESA radar. It's using the Grim Reapers PISA analog radar. Its beyond visual range missile, and we'll come back to the missiles, is the IWER. With a range of about 60 nautical miles, I'm aware that they run other missiles, they run variants of the Russian Adder, they also run the indigenous Astra, but we haven't modelled those other missiles yet. And this seems a pretty good missile for this fight, so we're going to use it. And a within visual range missile of a modernised Adder at about 20 miles. We've not touched the flight model or the damage model. For the F-16s, we've got the Block 50 or a Block 70. The Block 50 is the core game high fidelity model with a radar cross section of 2.5 meters squared, meaning that it can be seen by an AES radar at about 100 miles. Its radar is an old mechanical radar, which can only see about 40 miles. Its beyond visual range missile is an AIM-120 C5 with a range of about 40 miles. Its within visual range missile is the AIM-9X about 20 miles. We haven't touched the damage model or the flight model. The Block 70 is VSNs and we've upgraded it to GR version 3. Same radar cross section. It's got a modernized AESA radar which can see much further. The Beyond Visual Range missile is the AMRAM C7, and we've just changed that for this match, so ignore that mileage. AIM 9X, and we've not touched the flight or the damage model. India today will be running the Israeli built IWERB ER with a range of about 54 nautical miles. It will actually overachieve slightly. The Pakistans can have either the AIM-120 C7. Now we've got it written here as 50 nautical miles. We've just buffed it because we've been told it can actually go a bit further. So it's now more like 57, 58 nautical miles as per apparently the real C7 with its latest data. As well as that, they could have the C5 with a range of about 40, 45 miles. So overall, armament is about equal. The structure is going to be our usual beyond visual range setup. We have a bullseye in the middle, separated by 80 statute miles are the oppositions. Pakistan to the south, India to the north. They'll start at high speed and high altitude. AWAC support is given at various ranges on both sides. We'll start with one AI versus one AI, then multiple AI versus multiple AI, then we'll start throwing in the humans. Guys, based on the data I've given you, can you give me a prediction of who you think is going to win? Who has more missiles? I think the 16 is, is the better chance there. I forgot to show you the loadouts because I'm a silly man. F-16, five AMRAMs of different types and one close range hob. The flanker, eight IWERs and four. So basically twice, nearly twice as much armament. So great call from Pooch there. Uh, you think the F-16 fly? Why is that? Kinematically, that thing is much better. And if it has the chance in the Himalayas to do a bit hide and seek, it has much better chances. Roger. Notes this is not the Himalayas. This is actually foothills, so about up to 2,000 feet. Next uh, person. Yeah. I think that the uh, F-16s might have it, particularly the later block models with the uh, later block AIM-120s. I think they're a better missile than the Derby. My prediction is, oh, I think I've got to go for India here. The missiles are about, about equal on either side and they're carrying nearly twice as much missiles and that is so potent having all those missiles. So I'm going to go with that. Right, first guys, we're going to do AI versus AI. Let's uh, just settle everything down here. You've got max skill level, everything's set equal. Brilliant SU-30 model by 
code name for anchor guys, some nice guys there. First is Pium 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 F16 Block 70 Hybrid. Once the textures render in. Right, who's going to fire first? The A120C7 has a couple of miles on the range. Right, we're 60 miles. And pause. First missile was fired. It was the AMRAM at 58 nautical miles. Let's see when the SU-30 follows up. Stop. IWER at 57 nautical miles. Okay, almost identical. Let's go. Follow the AMRAM. Uh, just under Mark 4 and slowing down already. Doesn't have a huge burn time. And Derby slowing down at about the same rate. Again, not a huge amount to call between these missiles. Slight crank from the F-16. And a crank from the flanker. Missiles are going to cross. Let's see which one is retaining its energy better and stop right there, right in the middle. Amram, 1900 knots. That's pretty good. Uh, Derby, 1800 knots. So 100 knots um, extra with the Amram. That may pay dividends. We'll see. Are they going to get another missile out? That's up to them. Another missile, another AMRAM out from the F-16. Will the flanker respond with another missile? Yes, it will. They're pretty much mirroring each other. Now, which is going to be most effective? AMRAM's going to get there first, I think. Yep, he's trying for a notch, but it is not going to work. And flanker toast. And what about F-16? F-16 may have dodged. He has. He's just done better evasion. Look there. Simple, simply, he did a better evasion. Why is that? I don't know. It's it's the you know the, the, the mysteries of the AI. All right. I don't think he. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Just a cotton picking minute. Maybe. No, he's, he's dodged it as well. Better evasion. All right. Fine. F-16 won that one. Just slightly more manoeuvrable aircraft did a better notch. Right, let's knock it up to 4v4. Based on what you saw, guys, predictions on 4v4, please. I think it's going to be the F-16s. All right. Let's, let's yeah, see. me too. Remember, viewers, the AI will not fly that to humans. The AI is stupid. They just charge at each other and follow a basic pattern. Humans use their brains. All right, we're going to scroll to the first shot. Okay, Amram's out four times. Note also, the F-16 does have a, I don't know if you call it an advantage or a disadvantage, but to have an equivalent amount of fuel, the F-16s have to have fuel tanks added on. Now, the good thing about having fuel tanks is they can jettison them when they're in travel, which will just, so they'll just lose half their fuel. Now, the good thing about that is they can get light and they can dodge much better. The flanker can't do that. It can kind of dump its fuel, but not quickly like that. So that's a thing to bear in mind. Interestingly, they only fired four, three derbies for four AMRAMs. It's possible that the F-16 that turned west is out of weapon engagement zone right. in the initial launch for yep. the Allied Army. Absolutely. In terms of absolute speed and pace, both planes are about the same, roughly. Amram slightly faster again. Amram kicking in at 1,700 knots. Idarby kicking in at 1,600 knots. So it seems to be maintaining about 100 knot better. Also, note the bigger radar cross-section of the flanker. That seems to be one of the reasons why they're getting beat as well. Much harder to get a notch when you've got such a big radar cross-section. Gonna watch an F-16 this time. F-16 down. And these guys have got half the radar cross-section, which means it's twice as easy to notch. That's kind of the right thing to say. Two on two, two on one, and this guy's gonna be tracked down. So with those parameters we're seeing today, guys, good notch. It's game on! And it might be evening in the score up here. No, you see that? You see that kinematic ability? You see there how quickly that F-16 can dump its tanks and turn? Has it dumped its tanks? It has, yep. Now, that, that there, in that configuration, is much more manoeuvrable than the flanker, which has still got all its internal gas. Big, heavy flanker. So this guy's high, this guy's low, and this guy's still getting tracked. No, he's not. The missile went down. Interesting. Interesting fighting style from the flanker. Oh, look, you can actually see the F-16. That's the F-16 right there. Now, can they find each other in time? It's now simulating them trying to find each other. Okay, that is a derby out. Pow! Shot at the wrong guy. So it's now trying to simulate the fallibilities of, of humans. Exactly what kind of thing a human would do, fire at the wrong guy. And this guy, I don't know what he's doing. He's just given up. I'm out of here, mate. Well, that's, again, the mysteries of AI viewers. They will do what they want to do. It's going to be a kill. 
He's just got too high. Will his radar cross section him allow him to get a notch in there? No, he's dead. 1v1, and one guy's gone, one Pakistani's gone completely nuts. He's literally going Mark II the wrong direction. Ladies and gentlemen, DCS dogfights with AI. Oh, he's going for the AWACS. He shot the AWACS. That's why. Right, we're going to speed it up because we want to see what happens. They're going for each other's AWACS. No, yeah! Look at my boys. What a... Boy, this is turning into a great match, guys. The Derby got shot first. Usually the guy who shoots first wins. It's a whole ethos behind big, long-range missiles and who can create the longest-range missile. I don't know. I think that F-16 is going to dodge. Oh, what do I watch? What do I watch? I can't just stay here, aren't I? F-16 down. It's a draw! Right. So 1v1, F-16 wins. 4v4. It's a draw. Right. Humans, stand by. Welcome in round one. Indians, Poosh, Cap and Bird. Pakistanis are oh, Matrix, Fly and Cannonball. I think we've got the better jet. I think we've got... I know we're not quite as maneuverable as them and we're a bit heavier, but we've got more missiles. We can keep them plastered. The missiles will guide on AWACS. They're pretty much as good as their missiles. I think we should try air superiority, but I'm open to ideas. I think we should, uh, well, obviously split up. One go left, one go right, maybe one go center. Good uh, 10 miles between each other. Yeah, we're up a little high as it is. We're up at about 40,000 feet, which might be a little high. So I'm going to go down to 30 because I need some thicker air to dodge. What we can do is we can do long missile shots, guys, because we've got twice as many missiles. They can't really afford to do that. So let's prod them. Far at maximum range, keep them busy, burn their fuel down. Three, two, one, go. Get your master arms on now. Charge, charge, charge. Get your MFD set up. It's TSD, is that the is that the HSD guys? Pretty new than this. Yes. Alright. I think so. We also have the F10 map set to date link so we can see whatever I AWAC sees, so feel free to use it guys. Got a spike. Going down to 30,000, uh, yep, 10,000 meters. I'm locking them up to give them the willies. You take the willies. All right, one Fox 3 going, breaking uh, to the uh, east and going down to the hills. Roger. My guy, my hostile's cranking, so he's probably fired. Launch authorized. Cap. Fox 3 and right offensive missile crank. Reviewing tis. We'll be able to see our missiles here, but we won't see their missiles. Ah, my data link's working now. Right, I'm going defensive, guys, until I've um, got a better handle on what exactly what's going on. Very cheap defensive. Cap defensive. Let's check our missile going in there. Yep, missiles are tracking. It's going to drop right down on their little heads. Yeah, they won't even get an RW or R warning because it's coming in such a high aspect. Oh, you got to feel sorry for them, viewers, but they get what they deserve. Goodbye. One down. Matrix splash. Well done. I don't know what he was doing, just flying towards us like a lemon. Sorenfo. Fly down. One more left. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the SU-30 MKI. What a frigging beast. Captaining 180 and scanning low. Did one of you fire? Nope. I'm looking for Cannibal, he's in the mud. I think he's in the block 50. Anyone got eyes on him? I, I do not have eyes on him. Got him on data link, but that's it. No, I just see him, he's low level. Let's have a look, where are you, sucker? Yeah, it's hiding in the mountains. Alright, we've got the manpower, we can flush him out. It's just popped up above a mountain. Shit. Cap defensive. I'm defensive, you cover. Um, bird. Bird's engaging. Roger, we're defensive. Big G force viewers. Arrgh. I'm cold. Man, this plane's friggin' awesome. SU 30. Best SU 30 viewers. It's a great mod. I haven't flown it for a long time. It's, it's handling like an absolute beast. Push is going uh, hot. I'm coming as well now, guys. I've lost him on radar. He's down in the canyons. He wants us in a dogfight. I got him back. I've got, I've got an Amram still chasing me. I've got to head out. Turn him back in. Just the east of Bullseye. Right. Uh, see the, Poosh. The rain is about to go. Is he going to be in an open spot? 
I think right. he's hiding in the mountains to the south of Bullseye. Right. All right, we're gonna have to go and get him then. Push is right on him. It's a matter of time, viewers, before he shows his face. Okay, I'm gonna go up high and look down. I might be able to catch him over a mountain. See if my countermeasures work. No, my countermeasures don't work. I guess I haven't set them up. Gotta make sure I don't get a dogfight because I've got no flares. Spike F16. There he is. Searching for Wes. Wes. Fox 3. Woohoo! Missile on me. Cap evasive. Let's get a big G in there. 7G. Yeah, I see the missile trail. He's going back down to the hills. I'm gonna go and uh, hide him again. Climb into a certain doom because I got a friggin' IRB ER smack it. Oh, and Pusher's about to dogfight him anyway. He's got an IRB ER on him. IRB ER, best IRB ER. Stitch my missile, turn it back in. Must have been his missile by now. Trap boost, I'm danger close also. Hunt him down, boys. Submerge Push. Evasive. I have uh, Pooch hasn't set his flares up either. Awkward. Good dodge. Oh, he's dead. No, he crashed. Uh -huh. Well done, boys. Clean sheet. First time round using the SU-30. Well done, well done, well done. Right, let's see what happened. Who fired first? Indians fired first at 58 nautical miles. That's pretty much our R max. AM120C out. Oh, C. Is that... I don't know which C that is. <laughs> it wasn't from the, the uh, ED... Mod. Right, so that was from a C7 out, two I Darby's out. Now these just absolutely, yeah, look at that. So you guys had a problem with your RWR not working, apparently. Yep. It's yeah. been reported as a bug. There you go. One down. In the moment Matrix exploded, I, I tried to turn, yeah. but in the second I exploded. Uh, Cannibal did great hanging on there. He chucked missiles out of me, but there's obviously... Yeah, three was one as... Yeah. Yeah. I do what I had to do, and then that's it, and then overwhelmed. Uh, pretty simple one. Right, let's do some swapsies. Welcome in, viewers. Annoyingly, uh, cannibals had to go to work, because that's life, so there's an odd number of us now. Right. So I'm going to watch. What and... do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to think about how to work around this broken RWR, so um, I'm going to try and get missiles off as soon as I can, and then go cold. I'm listening to blues, but uh, they can't hear me talking. Three, two, one, go. Right. Just keep it. Here we go. Flankers. Wondering where everyone is. Uh, Violet's having to go and get a job, which is really annoying. Nails. Hey, jobs. Uh, Simba's busy at work for a week, so we haven't got him. Everyone's just busy at the moment. F16s. Got the lead guy locked up. Yep, 60 miles. Uh, Push is in a block 70. Matrix is in a block 50. Yeah, my, my radar won't lock for another 20 miles. I used a radar there, so mechanical radar right, there. You are right. I dub ER out. At uh, 38,000. Poor old Matrix is uh, RWR's not working, it's playing at the moment. Uh, that is a Fox real, 3 and defensive. real problem for him. Uh, so C7 out from Push. Oh my god, look at where those missiles go. Four Derby ERs out. That's going to trash those F16s. Matrix is turning cold. I've got no warning at all. Four, it's going to smash. Did you get a missile piece. launch warning at all? No, nothing. Just the initial nails. And I think that may have come from the uh, AWACS. Yeah, I had an unknown at the front front. Push defensive. Bird supporting on a missile crank. Matrix completely defensive and it's the only way he can survive because he's got no way of knowing missiles are coming. I'm going west. Push yeah, me defensive. too. I'm going to follow this fuel. Stay to eight miles. Why is it working out different to the AI? Because the AI didn't have the RWR problem. Their, their warning receiver worked fine. It's just the human version. That said, the same the C7 is a dang fine missile. Is it going to track? I think it's lost track. Yep, look, fly's gone. As soon as a fly loses... Turning break, hot up this valley. Breaks that radar lock. Yep, I've got another two or three miles to run before I can turn hot. I think everyone's nullified everyone's missiles, so great work by everyone so far. It's going to turn into basically one giant dogfight. So, oh my god, this one tracked Matrix. Look at that requirement. That is almost unbelievable that it just happened. But... It's probably out of juice. Yeah, it's out of juice, I expect. Makes sure this is probably going faster than the missile. Uh, yes. Zero one zero. Got a lovely bit of terrain there, viewers. Tommy, I've got one on the data. Or 30. Just chasing. He's a hounding Matrix down, look. Yep, Angel's 18. Uh oh. 
Still got some legs. No, it's not going to miss. Oh, that was some weird missile behavior there. Right, here we go. Distance now. 26 nautical miles. And this kind of little no man's island Lost in the middle. Him. Everyone's on the deck now. But it's a little bit high, but not very high. I think the near guy has fired, so I'm going to go terrain mask and go notching. If you're terrain masking like this, you're essentially invulnerable. As in, a missile can't hit you. Have a lovely bit of terrain for you, yeah, viewers. He's, uh... Defensive. We're in. I think we're in. Too I've got late, one guy knows. I've got two guys on data link. No shot on me. They both dropped off data link now. The last one is about 15 miles in my uh, four, five o'clock. No one wants to cross this sound. If they cross this sound, I'm going to turn south shortly and see if I can uh, flank them. In fact, I might turn north actually, see if I can flank out, flank them from the north. They'll be yeah, they're a little bit north and west of me. In fact, I'm southwest of you at the moment. The uh, big water at 3,000. I'll go after him. F-16 okay. is about, pushing uh, the sound. 0, 4, 0 for me. Tally, yeah, I got him on. He's at Angels. Point four. Okay, I've got a guy to our north. Angel, he's less than an Angels, less than one. I'll try and try and get him. Turning nose hot on me now. f 16 has got, got a missile in the air. Okay, but on my derby out. Defensive. And defensive from the SU-30. Uh, Pusha's got a missile out and he's defensive as well, but he's defensive in to fly. That's a loss of situational awareness there. Okay, the, the AMRAM's down, but the IDARBIES are still moving. Can Pusha get fast and low enough? Is the question now. I'll punch those tanks Got a guy in. Hot in my six at about 15 miles. Danger plus one. Good evasion. Oops. Got multiple missiles after me. But again, he's, he's terrain masking. They're just going to crash into the... I'm asking. Here. Yeah, me too. Good work, boys. Good flying, everyone. Great flying. Uh, both dropped off data link. And that's a match reset. Look at this little missile. I'm still chasing him. It's all about legs, look. It's out of speed. You want to see the parameters, the credentials? Look down at the bottom of the screen. Who's got the most fuel? Now, remember, jets down low level like this burn a huge amount of fuel. Their engines are very inefficient. There's a lot of friction drag of the aircraft. So fuel becomes a big problem down here. Look at these boys. They're working together. It'll be interesting to see what their comms are like, actually. But they're in this ravine. So they're operating in this ravine, this east to west ravine here, and they're shooting over the sound. Where these boys are operating on this island. The um, Block 50 is a bit outclassed. Okay. Outclassed radar, outclassed SA. I've got one SA. on the other side of the fjord at uh, 1,200 feet. Although it's kinematic. I don't have either of them on my data link at the moment. Okay, got one north of us, Angels less than one, range 10. There's this guy here, Wheel Matrix, get a pop. I'll be happy if the Block 50 just gets a missile out today, to be honest. 17 miles, still at a range. I've only got a range. Even the GR missiles have only got a range of less than 10 miles down here. Flyer's working his way down this canyon, look. Turning in now. Okay, things definitely about to happen. Within 10 miles, who's going to get line of sight to who the first? Splitting between them. Went to the west of the town or to the east. They're both on their side of the fjord. Will Bird get a shot and push? Can he see him down the valley? And will Fly get in in time? And will Matrix see Bird? Fox 2. No missile. They're going to merge. Four miles. That's a dogfight. Oh, he's using his gun. Pressing the wrong button. Matrix. He pressed the wrong button. He's going to feel silly now. I'm merged. Dead. No, I'm down. Shot oh, go. No. That was a silly. Right. It's now push versus fly and thingy. Fly's got himself caught out in the sound. No cover here. Oh, but he's seen push. But push seen him. Back three. Now who can dodge the best? 14 miles. Plenty of scope to dodge a missile at 14 miles. Right, who can dodge? Offensive missile Defensive. crank here. A full notch from Poosh. Good flying, both guys. Amram's dead because this guy just went low enough or whatever he did. He did a thing. Okay, you have one nose cold to your east at Angels less than one. And the other is north west northwest of you for 20 miles. Angels 11, flanking north. Okay, I'm defensive right this second. Uh, get across the fjord here and go back after the one of the west. East. I recommend you continue west if you can, terrain masking. Uh, okay. The target to your northwest is turning those hot. Roger. The target to your east is now flanking south. What a push. Got a missile out on me. Now the boys have got a classic pincer Northwest here. is 296 great. for 19 miles, Angels 10, nose hot. Burn. The guy to the east is 076 for 19, Angels 2, southbound, flanking, flanking south. Bird's gone high to pressure him. 
And Northwest Target is the greatest threat. 303, 15 miles, Angels 9, nose hot. Black 3. Shot push. Right, Bo's got to dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, Leave target that. to your east, 0844, 20 miles is nose hot. Angels less than 2. Oh, Northwest Target is now turning nose cold, 10 miles. Angels 3 descending, nose cold. Great cat and mouse. Got a missile out after. Fly. Caution. Second hostile is a 089 for 18 miles. Angels 2, nose hot. High speed. Roger. Masking. Target to the west is two sensor for 11 miles. Angels 4 climbing, and he's flanking south. Who's just going to get caught in the pincer? Great match so far. Loads of missiles. Look how many missiles. Second target 0994, 14 miles, nose hot. Angels 2.4. Who's has only got one medium range missile left? Southeast target is 103 for 10 miles nose hot. Westerly target is 0276 for uh, 11. He's flanking to your north. The pincer is complete. Fox the 3 on the east one. Check. He's just crossing the coast now. Angels 2. Fridge is dead. Defensive. No dodging that. He Fly got me. Okay. Is... Oh, you jammy son of a bee! Did you see that jam? Well done, boys. Really good match there. I loved it how you all got down low, dodged those first salvos of missiles, and it just turned into a dogfight. And to be honest, who saw the guy first wins a dogfight pretty much. So well done. Great flying from all. Right, um, I'm going to fly this time and someone else can sit out. Stand by. Welcome back. Round three. And this is really hotting up. Right, Indians, Poosh and Bird. Uh, Pakistanis are oh, myself and Fly. Fly is in the core game block 50, which I think is suicide because the RWR is currently bugged. It just doesn't work, which basically makes it a useless jet. It just makes it a spitfire with missiles. And I'm in a block 70. Sorry about the terrible cockpit, but... It's just not that developed mod, mod, but it does work pretty well otherwise. They've got better planes than us fly. They've got, they've got equal missiles, but twice as many, and they're just as good kinematically. How do you want to beat them? We need to be better. I would say you stay high at first, try mm -hmm. to get at least one or two missiles off, press them. I go low through the canyons, try to keep out of sight the AVAX and them both. So All I right. get behind them. Pretty yeah. much the same as I did last round. You've just got to be a dogfighter then. Yeah, okay. Just keep an eye on me and your data link to make sure you don't just pop up on me and shoot me. 3, 2, 1. Sabutio. Right, I'm going to try and get an early kill, viewers. Get them, Cap. i got blocks, bricks on the scope. Okay, they're firing at me. Right, how fast can I get this jet, viewers? I'm going to get the biggest, most powerful shot off in the world. Interesting, right. this time I see the AVEX on, on the Shoot. NWR. Last time Shoot. I didn't even that. Cap, Fox 3. Alright, oh, I'm out of here. We might get an early kill. Jesus, I've got a missile on MWS already. Right, I've got to burn to the ground here. Check countermeasures, which is good. I fly, I'm coming. I went up to 50 thou to take a big shot. Vulnerable now. Lovely bit of terrain. Look at that terrain, viewers. What do you think about the terrain? Uh, I'm right on tree tops level. Mm. Don't get too far ahead of me. Oh, yeah, don't get too far ahead of me if possible. Ah, I'm set my trim up, viewers. That's a problem. I'm set my trim up. I'm on a fly without trim. Right. Oh, that's awful. Right. Yeah. Okay. You are north. Oh, my amram's still tracking. That's a good thing. Okay, RW is now silent. That's not a good sign. Just got to break radar lock, just to ditch their current missiles. Okay, I'm nearly in a big valley now. I might be about to get a kill, you know. I'm about to get a kill, Fly. And smack! Ha <laughs> ha! Knobhead! Push is down! Cap splash! I reckon I can beat him in a head-on fight. Is that the first flanker splash? Yep. Yes. I'll do everything real quick, guys. I'll set up my trim real freaking quick. Trim down, 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 down. Cap trimmed! Fuck, that was... Ridiculous. Okay, I'm running o o across the big river now. Watch out, yeah. I'm getting shot at. I've got to break this lock. Sorry about the viewers, but that's life when you drive 150 mods, I'm afraid, and always set up. For us, I only see Bird on, RW, uh, on the data link right now. I'm, I will become apparent in a minute. I, sh I be on Bird 6 in a moment. Coming. Tragic. Yeah, you're chasing him down. I'm coming as well. Yep, you're hounding him down. He, if you're quick enough, he, may, he might not even get time to turn around. He's 36 miles from me. I'm going to go high and try and shoot down on him. If I'm going to do that right now, fly. Cap blocking him. That's the tactic. I'm way out of where's. I'm just going to keep upsetting him. He's high, you know. He's gone high. 
Yeah, I remember canyons, I could not lock him right now. 35 miles. He's turned away, he might have got a missile off, so be a little bit careful. When, when, on here. 33 miles, he's turning hot, he's doing a left crank and turning hot on us now. I'm going hard for a shot. He should see me now. He is now hot on us, he's probably had a pop at me, he's having a pop at me, but that's okay. You just sneak up for the kill. Fox Street. Yeah, with a block 50! Cool game, Tech. I'm coming. It missed, it missed, it missed. He's chasing you now. I ain't know where you are. It Merged. Is. All right, I'll hold fire. Do a thing. Doing loop. Have you got visual on him? Because I've lost him. Visual. It's right between two mountains. Watch out. I'm holding off. Where are you, bird? Box three. Go on. Go on. No track, no track. I've got nothing. Yes, I have. There he is. I got track. If I'm right on my nose. If I'm right on no my track. nose. It's dangerous for me to fire. Shoot. God damn it. Fox. What happened? Splash! Yeah! He's still alive. He's still alive. He's he's operational. What? He's operational. Right, keep fighting. Don't lose our discipline. I hate you, bird. I hate you so much. He's probably lost a lot of systems. So let's just chill, let's get after him, let's pressure him into an error. Where is he? Where is he? He's merged with you, you're still on a turn fight with him. Data link, data link, data link. Oh shit! Cap visual, he's gone high, he's poked his nose up. Cap, come on, come on. Fox 3. Die, bird. It's time for you to die, sir. He's lost him, I've lost him, I've lost him. Careful, I've got a mad dog in there I now. I see him, I see him, uh -oh. I see him. Uh -oh. He's, uh -oh. I'm trailing him. Shoot him now because my missile doesn't hit you, right now. Fox 3. Sorry, fly. Is he dead? Cap! Is he dead? <laughs> I need some information from know. you. Shoot. I don't Shoot. think. Shoot. Don't. All right. Let's all calm down. Beam kill. Yeah, red light. Shit, I don't know how to change missile. Yeah! Oh, we got, I got some vengeance for you, fly. Woo-wee! Good fight. These are turning into great little fights over the Himal... No, not Himalayas. What's between Pakistan and... There's nothing really, is it? Um, I went up to 50,000 feet. Did a big long bomb. Look at that. Mark four and a half that went. Um, and now I knew you'd have missiles on me. So then I went defensive. And I don't know what happened to Poosh, but he just... It just went straight into him. And I was chuffed about that. Meanwhile, I did a full notch. Went down. I had tech problems at that point. So I had to exit the fight for a little bit. While Fly carried on. Fly did well. Yeah, he had a good... Mm -hmm. How, uh, high low tactic there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fly finds him down in the block 50, which is well done. Gets a missile off. Yeah, I was looking for Fly, but I couldn't get him a radar lock. I saw you on data link from the AVEX, and then I, I knew you ne must be in the next valley. So I gone into the valley, pulled right, saw your own radar locked, you fired. Then I thought, okay, you should be fired immediately yourself. So I crank immediately to left over the mountain and back into you and found you in the valley again. So I could keep behind you. Full on merge there. Look at that. Full on merge. A couple of feet between each other. Yeah, and then I pulled pulled a high. Every time Bird went over a mountain, I got a lock on him, but I couldn't fire. It was too dangerous. I um, think actually what you see there is me, because I was like a high target then. Yeah. Actually, yeah, very possibly. You get a name on X. It never, it never tracked. For yeah, reason. it's not tracked. I'm coming in. Recommit. Now, look at that shot. Yeah, yeah, it, it hit me. Do. It took me out my radar. Right. So that's the rug <laughs> ruggedness of the flanker showing there, because that would have atomized an F-16. So that's a good thing about a 20-ton plane, I suppose. Carries on. But I, I bet normally the pilot himself should die. Have you? It's not yeah, like probably. A -10 armor. Probably. Have you lost I've your got I've lost radar controls and ECS, but now the aircraft is, seems to be more maneuverable. So I'm just <laughs> dodging around. <laughs> Frost Vectra started working all of a sudden. Yeah, and now the funny yeah. part that uh, sucks. I found well, Cap back, and Cap said, yeah, I, I see him, I fire Fox 3. Well, well, see my thinking, here's my thinking. I, I've got a good idea of where everyone is, and I see him coming towards me, so I think, good. As long as he's coming towards me, it won't be a problem. The missile will track and hit. As soon as I fire, or just before I fire, he does that turn there, he turns away. <laughs> it, it suddenly locks and me, And the yeah. missile's like, I can't see a flanker, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I see fly! <laughs> I'm like, fly, shoot before you die, shoot before you die, and you do. I got off the missile, there? you see? I got her off. What happens to your missile then? Oh, not nice. <laughs> son of a bitch. And then we just ended it because I, I had uh, initiative advantage at that point. Boom, great match, guys. 
Great match. Right, let's go to another one. Right, last round. We're going to have Indians, Cap and Fly. I really like this SU-30 at the moment. It's proper pucker, as we say in Britain. Bird is in the block 70. I know it says block 50. Ignore it. We've upgraded it. And Matrix is in a block 50. Fly. Uh, the great thing about flying this plane is you get pretty much air superiority. It's got brilliant radar, loads of missiles, hugely maneuverable, loads of fuel. Do you want to just go air superiority do you, or do you want to sneak, sneak? What do you want to do? Uh, I would say we both go in, try to lock both after another and get a missile on each. Mm -hmm. So we press both with four missiles. One of us, I would tend to say you, stay high, I go low yep. and uh, press them. Try maybe to get behind them so they don't can flee okay, just... uh, and negate their space. Watch an initial Hail Mary, because that, that Amram is actually really good, so just watch a Hail Mary. Right, let's go, viewers. I'm pausing. Right, let's set the jet up. Master arm. Shit. Going up for a long bomb. Camp, nose warm. All right, you son of a bee. Come on, get me range. Get me range. First is out. Cap, Fox 3. Cap defensive. Second from three out, flight defensive. I crank to the right, you to the left. Our right, viewing tents, we know there's missiles in the air, but we also know they're 50 miles away. It's going to take a few minutes to get here. I like this BBI as well. I like this, it's a good little fight scenario this is. It's got just enough mountains to not be super mountainy. But, mm, but give you enough to employ some tactics and yeah. make it spicy i mean in flat land with block 50 never has a chance but suddenly block 50 can have a chance yeah that's a great thing about it just making double really sure i've got rid of those amrams mm. okay i lost contact with the amex so i turn back in right cab aggressing they're leading this back out to sea we'll push them out to sea i like that happy with that i like that sa screen on the right pretty good yeah the missile just picked me up i'm going defensive Sure. Rogue missile just picked me up, viewers, and just doing some evasive. Right, back on task. Okay, Mr. F-16. Let's do a thing. Oh, jeez, my derbies just went right over Matrix. Woo-wee! But they're far, far away, huh? Yeah, 50 nautical. They are being defensive. They want us to come to them, which is fine. That's what we'll friggin' do then, fly. We've got the missiles. Yeah. I think they actually know what tactic I'm playing here. Because Simmer is not here, you should say, if you want to fly with us, you should think about giving some Patreon money to Cap. Do it! Enjoying some flying with us. And what's the other channel, Cap? Uh, yep, join the Patreon, come play with us, uh, watch Rumble, that'll help us out, and watch a bit of Odyssey if you want viewers as well. Of course you've got ye old YouTube, which you're probably watching now. Right, I've got to go put over a sound. Oh, it's the main U Ushuaia sound. Ah, mm. I hate going across that. We may have to cancel before we go over the sound. Cap I'm not popping up. Try to get two shots off. Yep. I, I can see them, but I'm out of where's. It's only Matrix, mm. he's got a crappy old radar. So I'm no, he's not going to threaten me. He's going over some water. I might be able to get him, actually. Oh, Matrix. Oh, Matrix. Well, Come one. on. Come it's on. Right there. Right there, viewers. I just can't quite see him. Line of sight isn't get there. Yeah, he's safe. me into... Okay. Fox 3. Defensive. Good work. Good work. He definitely has a shot on me. That is a beautiful mountain. I'm uh, going to hide. I'm going to have another look for Matrix. I took Bird. Are you dead? No, but I okay. keep on him. I'm going to have a look at Matrix now. I get the feeling he might just wander across that sound. I'd be mean, nice if he does. He is wandering right across the sound. Who's the silly Matrix then? I'm going to pop up right over this mountain, viewers. I'm going to see him. I'm going to pop him. I'm going to pop him good. There he is. He failed. He went out in the middle of no man's land. Cap, Fox 3, went fire. Went fire. It is. Where is fire? If I look on the data link, it looks like oh. I'm getting into a dogfight. Roger, so am I. Good luck. Launch Fox 3. I'm just going to pace him with Fox 3s. Not going to know what friggin' hit him, viewers. Smash all the Fox 3s. 
the beauty of the flanker over the F-16, it carries twice as much viewers. There's very little that F-16 can do. <laughs> he got me, I got him. Oh, it's 1v1. How's this baby gonna end? Oh, he's still flying, he's still flying. I have heard so much. Go hide to die, go hide to die, Matrix. Oh, it's a double whammy. Is he dead? Yeah, bird is down. Right, viewers, flankers win, woo! What a great fight that was. Oh, that was great fun. All right, boys. Good last battle there. Right, so that was just full straight in. So we all mimicked each other's behavior because we're all learning the virtues and weaknesses of, of the jets. We met each other over the sound of Bullseye. I just fought Matrix. I just had to oversaturate him. It was So I launched like five missiles at him and there was very little he could do. And then I just chased onto his island. And what did you happen to you two, boys? Traded. Uh, <laughs> we, yeah, we traded. All right, guys. So as an Box outcome, um, with mixed skill and changing the pilots around and all that stuff, as an outcome, the Su-30, when the humans happened, the Su-30 won three, the F-16s won one. So the Su-30 did actually come out on top. That said, at the time of making this, one version of the F-16 has a bugged RWR, and that is a big Achilles heel. Um, so that's a thing. Overall, yeah, though... It's I, I would I, say the first battle you could almost negate because yeah. we didn't know that at that yeah, point. Fair enough. Never mind. Uh, but that's how it is, viewers. Really good fights. I, I like them when they resort down to these little dog fights in here rather than 150 mile shots. Really good. My synopsis is at the end of that, I still would favour the flanker. Anyone still favouring the F 16? Uh, not in its current form in this. No. Yeah. I, I, 16 is way more maneuverable and it's it's a great little aircraft but yeah when we have one that can't get missile warnings it's a bit yeah. hindered. the flanker uh, has a better range missile and has way more of them yeah it's really useful having those missiles because you can pressure someone views you eight missiles on someone if you want and it means they can't operate and you can chase them down and keep the initiative so yeah the, the other thing is the conventional block 60 block 50 uh, f-16 radar is nowhere near as good as the advanced asa radars so that gives you a really big disadvantage as well yeah i believe that's what they're using in pakistan at the moment is the old mechanical yeah. radar so that is a yeah, disadvantage but, to I, the yeah. but it showed again how much the terrain is actually um bringing to the fight and mm -hmm. bringing into the tactics so I would actually like if we would do more above that kind of terrains, where not it's all mountain, but yeah, a bit mountain a nice mix. to work with. Absolutely, guys. Great. Right, I hope you enjoyed that, viewers, and bye-bye.